Hello guys, welcome to Deep Course and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 6 that says zigzag conversion. So here in this question uh, we are given one string and we need to write in a zigzag pattern in this way. So let's uh, uh, let's quickly move on to the test case for better understanding. See let's say if your number of rows is string and this is the string then this is how you have to write this like this is PAY then P A L so these are three rows this one row this is the second row and this is the third row and you wrote the string uh, in from top to down then from uh, down to up let's say P A Y then P A this way then L I then S H then I R then I N and then G so in, uh, down up down up fashion you need to write th this string okay uh, so let's say if there are four number of rows you are given in the input and this string then you will write right this way P A Y P then E L I S H I R I N N G so this is how you will uh, write this code and in order to print the output you will read that in the uh, row wise that is P I N then A L S I G then Y A H R and last P I so this is how you will read the output okay so uh, let's say if the number of rows is one then the same string is our answer right uh, there is no zigzag traversal when the number of rows is one okay so now let me show you one uh, this example so that you can gain clear understanding so let's say this is the string and number of rows are four then how you can write this see here you make first uh, four rows like this way row one row two row three row four then start traversing from up to down a b c d okay and when you reach uh, this d then travels from uh, bottom to up that is when you reach the last row then travel from the last row the first row then efg okay then if, if you reach the first uh, row then travels to bottom hij klm okay so let's say if the number of rows are five then also the same thing up to down a b c d e then uh, skip this okay don't uh, add again here let's say this is zero index zero one two three four so zero to four then again then 3 to 0 right then 1 to 4 and this is 3 to 0 then 1 to 4 okay so i hope you guys understood the question that how we are traversing and in order to our uh, return our output what we will do we would do that row wise this way like ai uh, ai then this row bhj then this row cgk okay then this row and then this row right this is how we would uh, give uh, our print or output got it so yeah, looking at this question what uh, intuition you can make see there are number of rows and each row cons consists some string so what you can do you can make something like this vector of string and of size of size how much this number of rows number of rows uh, size you will make this vector of string and uh, uh, each time uh, and you will for that you will keep one index j and for each time you are traversing uh, uh, this j if j becomes what if j, if j equals equals to n r minus 1 that is this last row then you will do what j minus minus that is move from last row to first row and if uh, what uh, we can see if uh, j equals equals to 0 means j comes to the top then again we will start do moving downwards that is j plus plus right so i hope you guys understood the question and also the approach of how we will solve this question so yeah now let's move on to the coding part here okay so as i said let me make one vector of string let me call it as rows and it would be the size of num rows and i will also keep one boolean variable down its uh, initial is, is as true so this down will state that whether we need to move down or not and yeah before all this let me check for one base condition if num rows equal equal to one that means we have to uh, simply return the original string the zigzag traversal won't be possible so yeah now let's move <coughs> to the for loop i equal uh, i will initialize two variables i equals to zero and j equals to zero uh, one for traversing string and other, another to store in this rows ve uh, vector. Or we, uh, what we will do? We will do v of j dot push back s of phi. And now we need to update this j right in order to move up and down. 
in order to do zigzag traversal so let's say if we are moving down okay and if we are moving down and if we reach at some condition where j equal equal to num rows minus one that is this condition that we are moving down let's say zero one two three four and we reach four so four is how what number of rows minus one so if in this case we uh, for, for the next step we need to move ahead so or the move up so for that let me do j minus minus and i will make down equal to false correct and in the else condition i just have to do j plus plus that is moving downwards and in the else condition if you are on the top let's say if um, j e equals equals zero that means now we have to move down and for that let me do j plus plus and make down equals to true right and the else condition as we were moving upward i simply do j minus minus yeah that's the code to move up and down and do a zigzag traversal now in the end what is remaining the only thing remaining is uh, giving the output so let me take one another string answer and we will traverse this ve vector rows okay uh, is less than rows dot size i plus plus and what we have to simply do is answer plus equal to rows of i we are storing each rows right and then return answer so yeah that's the code for this question now let's try to run it push back as so of Oh, sorry, it's not V, it's rows. Let me try to run this again. Let me try to submit this. So yeah, our code got accepted. I hope you guys understood the approach as well as code. Now talking about the time complexity. Uh, so since we are here traversing all the characters of string S, uh, so the time complexity would be big of and N is the number of characters in string S. And the space complexity would be also the same because we are storing all this uh, string into this uh, array right so the both time and space complexity would be big of and so yeah that's all for this video uh, if you have still any doubts then let me know in the comment section also one thing to note here uh, that i'm posting the job opportunities in the community section so make sure you check that out and yeah like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't thank you